So what you can see here is the uh, portal entry for the application. So every single user is going to be uh, provided with a user ID and password where they can sign in to the application. So once they click on sign in, it's going to bring you inside of a portal. And what you're going to see first and foremost is you're going to see right in the middle your most recently used reports or dashboards that you may have created. And again, you have the ability to save things, you have the ability to organize things, and you can secure things such that only certain people can see certain reports and so forth. So you have that capability inside of it. Now, one of the things that I want to point out is if you notice in the bottom, uh, in the middle of the screen where I'm circling right now, you're going to see an area that says drag and drop areas. So that's one of the things where we can do is we can bring in our budget information. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how I'm going to start bringing in budget information that's in an Excel spreadsheet. Now, before I do that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up my Excel spreadsheet that I have, which is right here, and just to show you what sort of information is there just to give you an idea. So I have this information right now, it's for fiscal year 2018, it's information that's budgeted by salesperson by month. And it's a information where I have two different budget values. I have some overall monthly uh, target values and I have some things with regards to contractor values that I'm looking at. So what I'm gonna do is I've got that information that's for me. I'm gonna now go ahead and close this information. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that sample file that I just opened and I'm going to bring it to the canvas. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say, I want this in a dashboard area. So I'm gonna let that go. And what the system is gonna do is it's gonna ask me, well, first of all, I already had this file loaded, but now I have the ability to replace or append the data that's there. So if I didn't have it there to begin with, it's not gonna ask me this question, but now it's asking me, do I wanna replace the data that's there? And I'm gonna say, okay. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna look at the information, it's gonna analyze all that information, and it's gonna provide me with the capability of being able to create a, um, a dashboard to, to start working with it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose my first one. I'm just gonna choose one of the ones that I have here that I like which is right here in the bottom right-hand corner. By selecting it, I'm just gonna go ahead and click on OK. Now, once I'm in, I have my dashboard available that's over here, but you'll notice that I have all my information that was included inside of my Excel spreadsheet. So what I now can do is I now have the ability to take one of my measures, for example, like overall monthly, and just bring it into the report or into the dashboard. And again, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag it just where it says drag, drop here to maximize. So it takes up the entire space that's there. And the number is going to show up. I'm gonna do the same exact thing for the monthly target at the contractor level. And I'm gonna do the exact same thing. So now that I brought that in, one of the things that I can do is I don't like seeing it in that format, so I can change the format by just clicking on the format icon here with that little area selected. Click on format, and I'm gonna say, I want this in a number, but I want it to abbreviate. So instead of showing 16, 16,650,000, it's gonna show an average of 16.7 million. So again, it's summarized or abbreviated. I'm gonna do the exact same thing for the other value that's here. I'm just gonna click on it, Say format, go to number, and now it's abbreviated. Now that I've got that information in, I'm gonna now bring in some additional information to bring this into context. So I'm gonna take my salesperson that's over here, and I'm just gonna bring it right into the lower right quadrant. And again, I'm gonna do a drop here to maximize, and I'm going to see all the salespeople that are available that I can click on. Now, if I go ahead into this area, if I click on one specific salesperson like Linda, the numbers are gonna change. I click on Jacques, the numbers are gonna change and Mayer and so forth. Or if I can click on multiple ones by control clicking and it's gonna give me a consolidation of both. Okay, so I can control click to remove the filter 
and it'll bring me back to my original values. One of the other things that I'm going to do right now is I'm going to take my salesperson and take my overall monthly target sales by control clicking both of them and just dragging it to the lower left quadrant. And by doing that, what's going to happen is the system is going to use some artificial intelligence somewhat to kind of look at the information and say, based on the information that you're selecting, this is what we feel is the best display for you to look at. So I can see the information right now of my different salespeople, and I can see exactly what the breakdown of that $51.8 million makes up. Now, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to create myself a navigation path. So right now, you'll notice that I have fiscal year, I have fiscal quarter, and fiscal month. I want to be able to create a hierarchy for this information. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create that year, quarter, month uh, drill down capability directly in my application. And again, it could be for anything that I want. It doesn't have to necessarily be for, uh, for dates. It could be having things like item family and then item uh, description. It could be having territory and then having region and then having you know, your, your different states and so forth. So again, you can create your hierarchy however you want. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to the navigation path that's here and just click on the plus sign. By doing that, I have all my sources that are here. So I'm going to take my fiscal year and just drag it over to the right. I'm going to do the same thing with regards to my fiscal quarter, drag it right underneath, and then take my fiscal month and drag it right underneath there. So now I've got my hierarchy set. All I have to do is click on OK. And I can see right now I have a hierarchy that shows fiscal year, fiscal quarter, and fiscal month. Now, how does that provide me some additional value? Well, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take my fiscal year. I'm also going to take my overall monthly target sales. And this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it right into the upper left quadrant. By doing so, again, it's going to pick a display that makes it sense for me. And I can see that information that's there for that $51.8 million graphically represented. But now what I have the ability to do is because I created that navigation path, I can go ahead and click on the actual diagram and I can see that it's $51.8 million. But if I right click, I now have another context window that allows me to say drill down. And what it'll do is it will drill down by quarter. And I could do the exact same thing by right clicking on fiscal quarter one if I want, right click and it'll show that drill down capability right down to the specific months. I could go backwards by right clicking again and just saying go back. So it brings me back to the quarter. And notice right now when I'm looking at the information, I have the ability to put my mouse over each one and I can see that it's $9.4 million that's in quarter one. And again, just putting my mouse over the different ones, I can see the different breakdown that I have for those targets. If I wanted to filter for a specific quarter, I have that ability by just clicking on the actual quarter itself. So that $9.4 million that's here, I just click on it. That's what's going to show up over here in the top left. But you're going to notice over here, your graphical representation by sales rep right now is for that $9.4 million for quarter one but now it's broken down by salesperson. Okay, so that's some of the things that you can do as it relates to um, bringing in that sort of information. Now, I also have the ability to take off the filter for Q1, so I can just control click. And again, you know, I've got the values again for that full 51 million. But again, I can go now to the salesperson and say, I wanna see it for Jacques D. Again, it's a 6.7, but I also wanna include Linda. Control click. Now I'm seeing it for 18.5 million was for Jacques and Linda, and this is the breakdown by quarter. Now, right now I have some filters applied. If I wanna remove the filter, I have a couple of ways in which I can do it. I could either do one of two things. I can click over here in the widget and say, ah, I see that there's a filter applied right now for salesperson of Jacques and Linda. And I also see that there's a filter for 2018 for fiscal year. I can just click on the X and it will delete the filter. And then my numbers will come back to my 51.8 million. 
Or again, what I could do is if I click on fiscal quarter one, as an example, my numbers change. Or again, I could just control click and it'll remove the filter and bring things back. So that's really how you kind of interact with regards to things like that. And you can see exactly what's going on uh, in regards to your data. The next thing that I want to do is I'm going to now bring in some SAP B1 data. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click over here and I'm going to add a source. So I click on add a source. I'm going to go where my packages are, where I have it for SAP B1 data. I select it and I click on add. Now what you're going to have inside of here is you're going to have the order book information. So if I click on the arrow over here, you can see all the information that we showed earlier in regards to calendar as an example. So you have all the information on calendar. You have all the information on your contacts, on your salespeople. You have information on your items. So if I open up items as an example, I can see all the information that I have with regards to family, or you might refer to that as group. I have your descriptions, your selling unit of measure. I have cost sell information. I've got some supply information as it relates to inventory. I've got your customer information that's showing up that's broken up into sold, uh, ship to and bill to. And I can open up that bill to and you can see some additional folders that are there that you can see in regards to general. And if I open up general, I'm gonna see a lot of the general information that's there with regards to the bill to customer description or the customer group or the salesperson that's tied to that specific salesperson or to that specific customer. You can have also user-defined fields, and here's an example of a user-defined field that you could have. We have some address information that's available. Again, everything is organized in a fashion that allows you to easily work with your information. Now, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna go over to my, inside of my sales, and I have all my information on sales. So again, I have things broken up. So if I wanna see specific information on the doc information, it's things like invoice number and invoice date and so forth. But I also have information at the line level. So I have things like the line number, the item price, the item currency, the rate and so forth, all at the line level. But then I go down to what I refer to as my line key figures that gives me all of my measures that I wanna look at. So I have my sales numbers, I have everything that's there. So what I'm gonna do is one of the ones that I notice I have my gross sales. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my gross sales and I'm going to bring it right into my application over here into the dashboard and just let it go. So now I'm seeing my gross sales that are going to show up from SAP B1. And not only am I going to take that gross sales, but I'm also going to take my gross profit. And I'm just going to bring it right over here. And just like before, where I was playing with my format, I wanna do the exact same thing. So I'm gonna click on format. I'm gonna click on number. And I'm gonna say, I wanna abbreviate it. So now I'm seeing that that's the number there. Do the same thing for the 84 million. Again, click on the format, click on number and say abbreviate. So now what we have is we have information that is coming both from Excel, from a budget perspective, but then I also have comparables of actuals that are coming in from SAP B1 directly. So that's what we've got from a, from a dashboarding perspective. 